Hello, my beautiful Scorpio friends. This is Brandon, Fire Daddy Tarot. We'll throw around some cards for you today. Get a nice little uh, you know, read out for you, Scorpio. You guys know how to do this. <clears throat> throw out the cards, see what comes out. Uh, I want to thank you guys for all your support, all your likes, comments, subscribes. I appreciate y'all, Scorpio. Have the best fans in the world, best family in the world on YouTube. Thank you guys. You're amazing, and I love you. Man, Swords help me see and speak clearly from a Scorpio friend and help Scorpio see and hear what they need to see and hear out of this for their highest good. Thank you, my gods. I can't do this without you. So let's cut the deck here. A nice little readout for Scorpio today. See what's going on. I saw read for Scorpio, please. Got this little uh, tablecloth thing here. It's a little floppy on the table. I need to figure it out. If you guys know any way to keep this smooth, let me know in the comments. I'll uh, implement some ideas because I do like having something on here. It's a lot better than being able to see like smudges and stuff. Anyway, I'm Ram on Scorpio. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Very song in my card. Writing a new chapter. Ace of Wands, man. Fire energy on that. I would see the Ace of Wands is writing a new chapter. Scorpio, I like it for you. Looks good. Yep. Two cups. Scorpio's been having a lot of this twin flame energy in their reads lately. Could be someone you met already. Writing a new chapter with them, those. We got two morning doves on it. Morning doves made for life. This pair lives right around my house here, man. Two cups is union and harmony. So like twin flame energy, soulmate energy. Writing a new uh, beautiful story with twin flame, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting here, man. What we got? Nine Pentacles. This is power and perseverance. So you guys are pretty uh, banging couple. This can a lot of times be a single and rocking it out card. I might be reading for a single Scorpio that's rocking it out and stacking up coin right now. But um, you might already met this person because it does say down here you're writing a new chapter. His first two cards that come out, when I read them together right like that, is that you're writing a new chapter here with a twin flame or a soulmate or something like that. Something very special that you're doing with this person. You guys might be working on a business together or something. All in pinnacles on it. I mean, what I just say. That's Ace Cups. Ace Cups there, man. This card says happiness and abundance on it. You guys filling each other's cups up is what you're doing. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. You filled up your own cups enough. And they started overflowing so you could help each other. And now you've got to just overflowing cups everywhere. This is good. We do have a different energy here, though. I got a three of swords here. I don't know what this is doing here. This could just be like a footnote about something. It says release and recovery. I don't know what this is about. We're going to put this on the side up there. Let's put it down here. Let's put that aside and see if anything else comes out about that. That could just be something that we could just throw out of this read altogether. I don't know yet. Five wands, too. Some challenge. Some challenge, Scorpio. Did you go through a challenge with some past energy here? Put your three swords. That's a heartbreak card. I don't see none of that on this up here. Up here, I see twin flame or soulmate. I see abundance. I see writing a new chapter with somebody up here. And like I said, writing a new chapter. Say you have been through something in the past here with somebody. Right there. Let's put that little footnote over there. I think we're more interested in what's going on here because the damn sun's here. Hell yeah. I like this over here, Scorpio. You and this person here, this two copper, 
you guys are doing some awesome stuff together, aren't you? Let me know in the comments if you guys are working on like a business or something together. It's got kind of that feel to it. And it does feel like a twin flame. Twin flame, soulmate, something like that. Scorpio gets a lot of twin flame reads. I do have some Scorpio in my chart too, so. I mean, this, this stuff, my girlfriend and I are pretty close. This stuff like this resonates with me. And like everybody else, I've been through stuff in the past too. All right, Moonguard Tarot. Cards on this for Scorpio and Scorpio's friend here. Beautiful energy between you two. Somebody went through some heartbreak in the past. Probably both of you. I mean, like I said, everybody goes through that kind of crap. It sucks, but it's part of learning. It's part of uh, getting through it and manifesting in what we do want. Because now we don't know. Or now we don't know. Now we know what we don't want. <laughs> Nine cups. You guys are moving. There's a lot of water energy here. You guys both water signs? Or both have some water in your chart? If you haven't met this person, you're moving toward them. The Knight of Cups there. I'd say you might have already met this person because it does say you guys are working on something together here. These are writing a new chapter together. What are you guys moving toward? What are you and your twin flame moving toward here? You guys working on something pretty awesome, it looks like. You get ten swords there. I think we know where that goes. Looks like down here in the past, I don't know how far in the past, you ended a burdensome cycle or a painful cycle is what I want to say. The way that Ten of Swords looks, you ended a painful cycle. Seven Cups. Seven Cups for you two here. What are y'all doing with all these cups, man? Like I said, it looks like you and your twin flame over here. I do think you've already met him. This I might be reading for a couple that's long term here. I think I am. You guys are uh, building something down here, dude. I, this is freaking awesome. King Cups. Could be your energy or theirs. Like I said, I think you both got some water in your chart. That's what it looks like to me. I'm mean, Scorpio. Obviously, you got water in your chart. You're Scorpio. Hmm. Could be either one of you guys there. It's coming out of that nine. It's an intuitive king. You guys are, um, you're not just building something here. You're doing it with your intuition and your energy. And you're manifesting it. In. I think that's pretty damn awesome, dude. Yeah, there's eight of cups. It's contemplation energy. Or, well, in this one, I'm going to read it as a walking away energy. I don't know what you walked away from down here, Scorpio. We'll put that in the pile it goes with. Like I said, there's a little footnote of the past here. But uh, here we got on top of uh, abundance. We've got more abundance because there's a ten of cups. You and this person down here love the hell out of each other, don't you? You and this two of cups are it's freaking awesome. Give me something on the sun. The moon's here. Like I said, you guys are using your intuition to uh, manifest something in here in this new chapter you're writing together. Let me know what you and your. Uh, partner working on Scorpio if you're a Scorpio that's in a relationship and if you're not with this person yet Scorpio I'd say this might resonate with you if you're looking for something like this they're probably coming soon anyway <clears throat> take what resonates with you leave what doesn't that's the way you should do these things let's get a uh, Astro or, or Astro or Yin Yang Oracle or five on this Yin Yang Oracle or five yeah something like that Scorpio do we got Yin Yang Oracle, Scorpio, some interesting energy going on up here. It's very beautiful energy going up here with uh, Scorpio's partner. And then we got a little footnote of some past stuff down here. Doesn't really say a whole lot about it. Just kind of looks like somebody got hurt in the past and just kind of did away with it. Comfort Zone South Node. Clinging. I think you guys... uh getting out of your comfort zone with this. Like I said, it really looks like you could be possibly building a business with your partner down here, Scorpio. But you're moving out of your comfort zone. The Knight Wands, he calls ass. Or Knight of Wands, sorry. Knight of Cups down here. That mean he hauls ass too. 
But um, he's moving out of his comfort zone, like getting away from his emotional comfort, getting ready to jump across that river right there on his horse. It does say you guys are writing in a new chapter here, Scorpio. That's pretty awesome, dude. Alchemy, ancestral gods. Like I said, whatever it is you're working on, you don't it intuitively and energetically. You're manifesting it in as you're doing the work. I mean, there is going to be work when you're manifesting something. Like, that's a requirement. But you guys aren't, like, pursuing this in a grindy way. You're pursuing this in a very soulful and spiritual way. And I think that's pretty damn awesome. Here's the water ace. Like I said, you both probably have a lot of water in your charts. Coming down on that king right there. Coming down on that king, Scorpio. Cycles, change, completion. Yeah, there was the end of a cycle down here of that old energy, wasn't there? Wasn't there, Scorpio? North node. Like I said here. Could be a twin flame thing going on. This could be a definitely be two Scorpio or well, two water signs that are twin flame. Scorpio with twin flame down here. That's what it looks like to me. The Scorpio I'm reading for is coming out on the Ten of Cups. Uh, twin flame journeys are about finding your purpose together a lot of times. This is North Node. This says cosmic purpose on it. Like I said, definitely a twin flame reading. A couple of twin flames that have, uh, already found each other and are in a committed relationship and they're working on something big together. I just don't know what it is. Control and tactics. It's coming out with the moon there. Like I said, you guys are probably doing this intuitively. But I don't think you're doing it recklessly. I think you're doing it in a very controlled, tactical way. Looks pretty damn awesome. I like it, Scorpio. I like it. Oh, let's uh, get an overall from the... Now we're going to do the Astro Oracle. Just going to get an overall from it. Just one card. I don't think there's a whole lot else I need to pull on this. The tarot section of this in itself is clear enough, wasn't well, it? One card from the Astro Oracle for Scorpio, please. And we'll let Scorpio go on their own way here with their uh, twin flame they got. I like it. It's beautiful. Astro Oracle. Moon. Again, says perception on it. Could very well be that you're with somebody that's got some cancer in their chart. Like I said, it looks like you're both water signs. You both got a lot of water in your chart is what it looks like to me. A lot of intuition there. You know, water signs are pretty intuitive. But perception. You guys have a nice perception on things, it looks like. Whatever this is that you're working on, you're building something awesome together, Scorpio. You two keep it up. Uh... If you'd like to go back and watch this again with your partner, Scorpio, I'd highly encourage it. They might glean something they need from here, too. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe, Scorpio, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.